Alright YouTube, this is the TV Generation coming with another pedal review. From the last time I did a pedal review, it was the Boss DS1 Distortion. This time I'm doing the loud and heavy, thick and juicy Boss MD2 Mega Distortion. Nice little deep orange, almost red pedal. Uh, it's kind of the next step up after the DS2, which has that turbo mode where you have a serious mid boost. This one kind of takes it a step further. Uh, as you remember, the control layout on the DS1 just being your level tone and distortion controls. This one is the has a level and a the second knob is a concentric knob, which is the uh, the top one is the tone. The bottom one is the bottom control, which kind of fattens out the low end, gives you a nice heavy low end. Not not it's not like a heavy octave, but it's uh, it gives you a lot of serious low end push. Then the third control is a distortion, then a gain boost, which just kind of takes a distortion and pushes it uh, even harder. It's got a typical input and output like a distortion pedal would. Typical boss construction. Felt like a tank. Runs off either 9 volt batteries or uh, 9 volt power supply like I'm using. Alright, so we're just going to kind of take it straight up. Everything is uh, straight up except for the level because the level needs to be a little higher for my guitar, for mine, because uh, with some of these boss battles I get like a serious volume drop whenever I'm playing. So uh, I'm going to just, uh, I've got the level up enough to where it'll somewhat match the uh, the sound of the amplifier so uh, here's the clean tone Okay, here it goes. This is uh, everything at 12 o'clock. Okay, now I'm going to take it and I'm going to adjust uh, adjust some of the numbers. I'm going to adjust the distortion control and bring it up pretty high. And I'm going to push the tone just a bit. Okay, now we're gonna uh, all right. Sorry, uh, we're gonna push the the gain boost up a up a bit, and we're gonna push that bottom control up. I'm gonna kind of leave it right now, and I'm gonna push it while 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 we get it played.
See, I just pushed up the bottom control, and you can see how much thicker it made the lower end on the sound. It kind of made it just kind of push really hard. It's pushing a lot of air out of that little six inch speaker. I'm going to push up the distortion and the gain boost just a bit more on the tone, just a tick. And you'll get a pretty. with a uh, with a drop tuning Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to back that bottom back off to, to, to normal. And I'm going to show you that uh, this doesn't just do this really heavy distortion. You can get kind of a mild kind of DS1-esque kind of distortion. So it's, uh, it's capable of more than just those really heavy, uh, low-end uh, sort of distortions. But e even if you want to, you can even run this like kind of an overdrive. Even as you can see, even with even with all the with the distortion controls completely turned off, uh, it still distorts like crazy. But uh, you know, I tend to. I tend to play it like this. So yeah, that's uh, basically a pretty general overview of what the Boss Mega Distortion uh, is capable of. Um, 
If you got any questions, you can ask me. But uh, it's a real. If you're if you're looking for just a nasty, heavy distortion, that's uh, not as. Uh, I mean, some people say that the DS ones. Yes, I've got two of them. That the DS one is is kind of um, thin, nasally, and not really usable. Uh, I I would have to disagree because I love using the DS one because it's just a. Simple, straightforward, takes you from clean to dirty in the push of a little stomp. But it's if you want something that takes this and takes it over the edge, takes it into kind of that kind of really hard rock, kind of that, uh, I would say, uh, Godsmack kind of distortion, you know, that heavy kind of modern rock distortion, you know, uh, uh, P.O.D. Godsmack. There's something about the phone game I love. I guess Marilyn Manson if you play if you play stuff like that. But kind of the really modern rock. Uh, I'd say even maybe as heavy as Static X. Uh, because it's really a versatile distortion. As I, as you've seen, you can take it all the way from something as uh, as smooth as kind of a bluesy kind of Stevie Ray Vaughan type overdrive to a kind of. A, punky grungy distortion to an all out uh, fat bottom end heavy crunch uh, it's, a, it's a pretty versatile distortion I'd recommend it the only my only problem is uh, it's it's not cheap uh, some people might see this as cheap I do not uh, it's about 80 bucks uh, at like musicians friend or guitar center uh, so uh, yeah, if you if you find one and you like it, pick it up. It's a good usable distortion. I like to use it a lot because just because of how heavy it is, it gives me that really loud. And when you turn up that that bottom control, it, it, it takes it from kind of a sort of mild distortion to just a bone crushing kind of a bone rattling distortion. So uh, yeah, this is the PV generation again with the mega distortion. Check it out if you get the chance. So uh, I'll see you next time.